Did you know that the National Home Value Index has risen at its fastest rate in 32 years? Now it's no surprise that Sydney has led the pack with an increase in capital gains of 3.7% for the month of March and 6.7% for the first quarter of the year. Now locally we are still experiencing some amazing selling conditions and it's a normal influencing factors such as low stock, low interest rates and also now a shift in lifestyle focus with a larger focus on life at home ultimately fueling and strengthening the current selling conditions. A great example of how the market has strengthened is the sale that I just had at number 24 Dufour Street in North Taramara. The property was purchased a little over 12 months ago for 2325 and I've just resold the same home for 2.9 million. It's a whopping increase of 24.7% in around about 12 months. Now in terms of the auction clearance rate, we're consistently seeing it sitting around the 90% mark, which is pretty crazy to think that this time last year, we are sitting around the 40% mark. Quite a big change. If we look at buyer and seller behaviours, realestate.com.au has recently conducted a survey where they interviewed over 6,700 consumers. Now some key takeaways from this survey are that more people are likely to sell this year. So they are predicting an increase in supply, which is also a result of increased seller confidence. But they're also predicting that this increase in supply will be insufficient relative to the demand. Now, whilst demand for properties in regional and lifestyle locations has surged during the pandemic, lifestyle change is no longer the top reason that people are selling their homes. This top spot now belongs to market influencers. The market conditions were cited as the number one reason that people would decide to sell their home over the next year, cited by 43% of respondents. So this also helps answer the age old question of whether to sell or buy first. 50% of people said that they plan on selling before buying their next home, whilst 31% of people said that they plan on buying before selling, compared to 21% in 2019. There's another 18% who don't intend on buying another property. So if you are interested in more Upper North Shore real estate updates, please don't forget to like and follow me on Facebook and Instagram.